just few hours ago, Mistral AI has quietly released Mixtrol 8 into 7 billion model, which is a sparse mixture of expert models or SMOE with open weights. This new model from Mistral AI has already really rattled all of the other model providers, including ChatGPT and OpenAI. This new model outperforms existing LLMs like Meta Lama 70 billion, and it offers a balance of performance and efficiency. Now, this Mixtrol 87B is, comes with 45 billion parameters. This has a latency equivalent to a 12 billion parameter model. That makes it six times faster in inference than Llama 270 billion. It matches or exceeds GPT 3.5 in most benchmarks, as you can see on your screen here. The salient features of this Mixtrol include handling a 32,000 token context and supporting five languages, including English, French, German, Spanish, and Italian. The code generation capabilities of Mixtrol is really high. It scores 40.2% on human eval. The model's instruction following variant, refined with supervised fine tuning and direct preference optimization or DPO scores 8.3 on MT dash bench. I'm really fascinated by this, by the architecture of this mix trawl. Mix trawl architecture is unique. It utilizes a decoder only model where a feed forward block selects from eight parameter groups. It effectively uses only a fraction of its 46.7 billion total parameters per token. The great thing is that Mistral AI is now opening beta access to their first platform services, which is named as La Platform. Seems like French to me, but anyway. Another cool thing is that three new chat endpoints are being offered, Mistral Tiny, Mistral Small, and Mistral Medium. And they also provide an embedding endpoint with different performance and different cost from their website. And I'll drop the link to this in video's description too. This is supported by NVIDIA, CoreWeave, and Scaleway team. So it has a very, very sound backing. Now, having said that, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install this Mixtrol 7B model locally on your Windows system, totally offline. This is the hugging face page of this model. Let me make it a bit bigger if I could, so that you can see, there you go. So this is the hugging face page of this uh, Mixtrol 87B chat. And you can see that the size is quite compact, but still a bit huge for the local system. So I'm going to go with the blokes quantized version in order to install it locally. And you will yourself notice the performance is quite, quite good even with the quantized version. The tool which I'm going to use in order to install it locally is called as LM Studio. If you don't know what LM Studio is, how to install it, I have another detailed video just showing that and I'll drop the link in video's description. Okay, the first step, open this LM Studio on your Windows laptop. Locally, you don't need a GPU, but if you, if you do have it, it will just improve the speed. Then on the top left, click on home button. Then here, just type Mixtrol, press enter. And you can see it has come up with all these four options. These guys have already created it. I'm going to go with the blokes one. I'll just click it. And you can see that uh, I'm just going to go with the GTUF, the simple one, not the instruct one for now. And I always try to go with the Q5KM. And the size is around 32 gig. I hope I have that much space. But anyway, let me, maybe just to make it a bit quicker, I'll go with the smaller one here. Let's go with this 20 GB one. So click on download and it has started downloading on the bottom section. My download speed is quite good today, which is nice. So it shouldn't take too long. Let's wait for it to finish. The download is almost done. It is at 99%. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long now. It has been downloaded as you can see here. On the top left, click on this folder icon and you can see that this file is already downloaded and it says it should work. That is cool. And now in order to use it, click on these three dots. 
just dismiss this one because this is the first time I'm using it in the middle. Select the model to load and then select this mixed all one. This is going to load here. Okay, it says that um, this tensor weight is not found. Let's okay. Sometimes we just have to download it. It says OS platform 3.9. Let me reload it. The blocks one seems to be not working on this CPU on my uh, local system. So what I'm doing, I'm trying with this second uh, GGF format if it works. If this doesn't work, what I'm going to do, I'm going to install the NVIDIA drivers because I also have a GPU here and then I will try there and see if it works or not. As you can see that the second one is also almost downloaded. So let's wait for it to finish. In first, I thought I'll make a clean cut video for you, but then I thought just for the learning of everyone, let's uh, also show the hit and trial on this one. So let's wait for it to finish. The second one has been downloaded. Let's go to folder icon. Yes, file is there. Click on three dots. And now let's select this model to see if it works or not. Now same error. So if you see that the it is seems to be something like uh, create tensor tensor this not found. So if I search it to see what is happening here, we have found something. Let's go through it. I installed Nvidia driver two on this system, but still didn't work. So I did some search uh, on the Google and GitHub and stumbled upon this which was this thread which was updated just 11 hours ago and it seems that everyone is having this issue with this quantized version it seems I'm too early to make this video and let me quickly show you that what people are discussing in this thread so even the bloke who is a creator of the quantized version which I was trying to do and other people they're also asking anyone got any idea why the rope data is wrong and all that stuff and then if you scroll down a lot of people are complaining about the same error that error loading model here so this is an open issue it seems still um, and people are trying to fix it so let's wait for it to get fixed and I will then again make a video but I, I'm more than sure that within days if not ours, this should be fixed and the process will be the same which you can use from here. And um, so that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. So let's wait for this to get fixed and uh, we will rerun it. But if you want to try it out, this is a way to do it. And all you need to do is to follow the same process in a couple of days maybe. And then you should be good to go. And then you can play around with it and there are different prompts which you can use uh, and also another cool thing about this is that i love studio that you can even create a local inference server on this 1234 port and access it publicly uh, from the internet so that's it um, i will definitely make another video once this is fixed and show you the performance of it and we can even benchmark it I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, or if you know any workaround of this issue, please share them in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.